Hi, Rashid Kapadia here with a performance tip on a Friday. Today's performance tip is something I wouldn't have imagined giving a year ago is this. Learn Vipassana meditation and commit to doing it regularly to improve performance. I started my Vipassana voyage in January this year. Prior to that, I had no interest or no knowledge at all of meditation or any contemplative practice. But I started in January this year and I've late I've completed about 500 hours of meditation. I keep a track on an Excel spreadsheet. So yes, I can say I have sort of stayed with it in a disciplined way. I've tried to do it with focus both on the technique, but also on proper understanding of what is really required and involved. I read books and I listen to audio tapes and videos. So hopefully I'm on a good track. And because I have managed to do this for nine months, I think it's appropriate for me to consider recommending this. I was also driven to recommend it for two other reasons. I've recently finished reading a book and I want to talk about a Yuval Noah Harari video. Okay, so why do you want, why, why am I recommending it? Because from meditation, you can go from a certain state to an altered state and eventually to an altered trait. What do I mean by this? Let's say I'm feeling stressed out or sad or I'm suffering or I'm sulky. And then I go through a meditation process or a routine, let's say one hour of meditation. And at the end of that, I'm in an altered state. I am no longer stressed or suffering. And instead I am calm. I'm composed and I'm better able to concentrate on whatever I'm doing. Now that's a temporary state, it won't last. So this is what we mean by an altered state. But if you do this regularly, the claim is it leads to an altered trait where you don't even have to do the meditation process. You've just been doing it so long that you are always in that calm, composed state where you can concentrate immediately and totally on whatever your task is. So why am I why, what drove me to make this recommendation? I said two things. One is I recently finished reading this book, Altered Traits, Science Reveals How Meditation Changes Our Minds, Brains and Our Bodies. And it is by two well-known science figures. One is the science writer, Daniel Goleman, and the other is a very famous leader in the scientific world. His name is Richard Davidson. I've even heard some people saying he might someday get a Nobel Prize for the work he's doing. But here's what I pleasantly surprised to read. In the winter of 1970-1971, Daniel Goldman did 10, five 10 day courses straight with SN Goenka in India. So he has started, it put him on this course and he has been practicing in the 40-45 years with a fair amount of discipline ever since. And Richie Davidson also did a course with SN Goenka, 10 day course in the summer of 1973. And he had some experiences that he noticed that he wanted to scientifically study them and to see if he could track what was happening, which put him on a course of the work he's doing. So this book is really, they're asking this question. Can we using scientific processes, methods, measuring instruments, see if meditation really leads to altered traits. And the conclusions are in some cases, yes, some cases, no, the science is not quite there yet. They're not enthusiastically trying to reach a conclusion that it does. They're more focused on the science. It's a great book. I suggest you read it. But it does give a pointer that it's well worth it and you will benefit from a commitment to regular meditation, hopefully altered traits. So that's one reason why I am recommending it. The second reason is because of an author called Yul Noah Harari. He's written some phenomenal, globally successful books, Sapiens, Homo Deus, and 21 Lessons from the 21st Century. He's regularly on the speaking circuit. I heard him in an interview in March of this year at the India Today Conclave. And for a 10 minute clip, the interview asked him, tell us about your experience with Vipassana. And he answered the question. He started again with SN Goenka on a 10 day course when he was a PhD student in Oxford University. And he says for 18 years, since one hour in the morning and one hour in the evening, he practices meditation no matter what. And every year he goes for a 30 or a 60 day re retreat, very dedicated. He goes on to say that he doesn't think he could have written these books because without them, without the meditation, he might not have had the focus and the clear thinking 
which resulted in these excellent books. So what I did is I cut out that 10 minute clip and I edited it and put it into my YouTube channel on my Vipassana playlist. And listen to this. Today, it went past 80,000 views, 80,000 views. <laughs> Clearly, a lot of people are very interested in this. Something is happening here, which is why I decided to make the slightly longer performance tip. The performance tip for Friday is learn Vipassana meditation and make a commitment to doing it on a regular basis, the same way you would commit to exercising regularly or eating healthy food, even though it's not tasty for the rest of your days. It isn't that much fun while you're doing it, but it's certainly worthwhile. And if you want to enhance your performance, long-term meditation, which will lead to altered traits is certainly one great option. I hope you take it up. I recommend it highly on, I'm a novice on the basis of my nine months. Good luck.